Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about circles, angles, and the coordinate system, as well as explore how they are related to Python Turtle. As you can see here, we have a picture of a circle. In every circle, there are 360 degrees, and this leads to five main points on our circle. The first point is zero degrees, which is at the start of our circle. Our next key point is a fourth of the way around the circle at 90 degrees. Our third key point is half of the way around the circle at 180 degrees. Our fourth key point is three quarters of the way around the circle at 270 degrees. And our last key point is a full way around the circle at 360 degrees. That makes this position here, right here, equal both to zero and 360 degrees. Now, let's see how this relates to Python Turtle. Okay, so I've set up a REPL here. If you need a refresher on how to set one up, see our movement video. So now we're gonna be talking about the set heading function, which takes into account those angles we just learned about. The set heading function basically tells our turtle which way it's going to be facing. This is how you set up the function. You type t.setheading with parentheses afterwards because it's a function. And inside the parentheses, you put in the angle that you want your turtle to turn to. So zero degrees makes our turtle face to the right. If we want our turtle to face up, we have 90 degrees. And you can see the turtle went from facing this direction to facing this direction. If we want our turtle to face left, we put 180 degrees. And as you can see, the turtle rotated again to the left. And if we want our turtle to face down, we put in 270 degrees. And now our turtle is facing down. Like we talked about, 360 degrees is the same as zero degrees. So if we, another way to make our turtle face to the right is to type in 360 degrees. And just like that, our turtle is facing to the right. One quick note I'd like to make is the difference between the set heading function and the left and right functions. The set heading function tells the turtle which direction to face, while the left and right function tells the turtle how far to turn. Let's look at an example. T.setHeading90 will tell the turtle to face 90 degrees. As we can see here, it's facing up. Now, if instead we do T.left90, since the turtle starts at the zero degree position, which is facing to the right, telling it to turn 90 degrees will cause it to turn in the upwards direction. Now you might notice that this looks the same as t.setheading90, but the key is if we were to tell the turtle to turn left by 90 degrees again, it would now be facing to the left, also known as 180 degrees. This is because by saying t.left90 twice, we've told the turtle to turn left by 90 degrees twice, making the total distance that the turtle has turned 180 degrees. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the coordinate system. Every coordinate system consists of the x-axis, which is this line, and the y-axis, which is this line. The coordinate system is useful because it allows us to describe the location of points. On the x-axis, you can see I've labeled numbers. If you think of the x-axis as a number line, with zero being here, any number to the right of this point will be positive. As you can see, I've labeled one, two, three, and four and any number to the left of this point will be negative. Negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. The same thing goes for the y-axis. Anything above this point will be positive and anything below this point will be negative. And I've labeled plus x, plus y, minus x, and minus y to help you remember. Now let's try a few examples. I've put four points at the top so we can try and put them on our coordinate system. Our first point is three comma four. This means the x coordinate is three and the y coordinate is four. To label this point, we're gonna to go to three on the x axis and four on the y axis and draw a point. For negative two one, we're going to go to negative two on the x axis and positive one on the y axis. For negative one, negative three, we're gonna to go to negative one on the x axis and negative three on the y axis. And lastly, for two comma three, we're gonna to go to two on the x-axis and negative three on the y-axis. 
Now let's try an example using REPL. So now we're back in REPL. Let's try to draw a square using the coordinate system and the goTo function. The turtle by default is at 0, 0, so this will be our starting and ending point. I'm going to make my square 100 units by 100 units. So first, we're going to start off by moving 100 units to the right. To do this, we type t .go to 100, 0. Now we want to go 100 units up, so we type t .go to 100, 100. Then 100 units to the left, t .go to 0, 100. And lastly, we want to go down 100 units back to our starting point, t .go to 0, 0. Perfect, we got a square. Okay, so I've labeled the corners of the square so you can see it more clearly. Our starting point was 0, 0. We moved 100 units to the right, which made our x coordinate go up by 100 units. Then we moved 100 units up, which made our y coordinate go up by 100 units. Then we moved 100 units to the left, so our x coordinate went down by 100 units. And finally, we moved 100 units down, so our y coordinate went down 100 units to get us back to 0, 0. This video's assignment will be pretty simple. I'd like you guys to try and draw a triangle using the goTo function, like the one I have on the screen. While you're doing that, keep track of where the turtle is on the coordinate system. Now we know how to draw circles using angles and how to draw using the coordinate system. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.